Hi everyone, Ross Johnston here at OneCloudX. In this video, I'll be demonstrating NetSuite's WMS functionality focusing on the outbound process. On the left-hand side of the screen, we have NetSuite's web-based interface, and on the right-hand side, we have NetSuite's mobile app used for handheld barcode scanning. Throughout the demonstration, we'll be going between both interfaces to show how the handheld scanner updates NetSuite data in real time. On the left-hand side, we are currently logged in as the warehouse manager, which is one of various roles that come out of the box with NetSuite WMS. This includes a home dashboard, which I can personalise to make sure I've got the information that I require in the format that I want. Drag and drop functionality makes this an easy task to update. My home dashboard includes a list view of all sales orders that are currently at a status of pending fulfilment, and I also have visibility of the order type set up based on my business rules. When releasing my orders, I can either create a wave manually or I can schedule a wave release. For example, I may wish to schedule all of my e-commerce orders for picking in the morning if my shipping provider collects at a specific time each day. When I am creating the wave release, I am in control of the wave criteria, which uses NetSuite's save search functionality to define which orders are going to be included on this wave release. I can also create and save a template of this wave criteria to make sure that I don't have to manually input this again. On this example of a wave, you can see that we can set the priority as well as the picking type, whether this will be a single order or multi-order pick. We can also see the status of released and the creation and release date here as well. On the tabs at the bottom, we can see the associated sales orders as well as the line item detail. On our pick tasks tab, we can see all of these lines and the recommended bin, assigned picker and status of ready. If using serialized items that have been pre-allocated to the sales order, we can also see this information at this stage. We also have the option to print a paper picking ticket, but the mobile scanning device will provide my operators with all of the information that they require. Moving over to the mobile device, I will select that I am picking single released sales orders. From here, I will be able to see all of the sales orders that are ready to pick based on their priority. I'll go ahead and select sales order 894 from the corresponding wave on the left hand side. This will show me all of the pick tasks, which I can then go ahead and select. The first one here, I'll be prompted to the recommended bin, at which point I can scan or enter the bin number, followed by scanning or entering the item. As this is a serialized item that I am picking, once I enter the quantity and confirm the unit of measure, I'll be prompted to scan the serial number as well. As the serial number for this item has been pre-allocated to this sales order, if I was to scan a different serial number, the system will prompt me to re-enter the correct serial number. Now that this pick task is successfully complete, I am then prompted to the next pick task. This will show me all remaining tasks for the single order that I am picking. I'll go ahead and select the only remaining task. I'm then directed to the MEL02 bin location, which I will scan, and then go ahead and scan the item as well. I'll confirm that I'm picking a quantity of three and that the unit of measure is each's. As this is a non-serialized item, I will not be prompted to enter a serial number. As I'm using staging for my packing, I'll go ahead and set the outbound staging location of pack station 01. I then receive confirmation that I have successfully staged this order at pack station 01. I'll go ahead and select next order where I can continue picking the remaining sales orders. Moving across to the left hand side, if we refresh this wave, we will see the status update to in progress. We can also see that the pick tasks have been updated in real time, going from a status of ready to done. If we open up the sales order 894 in a separate tab, we will also be able to see that there has been an item fulfillment created in real time. This item fulfillment will be at a status of picked and will include all of the information that we have input in the mobile device. For the serialized item, this will also include the serial number and we will also have visibility of the bin location that this has been staged in. Now that we have picked this order, we'll go ahead and pack it using NetSuite Ship Central functionality, which is designed to optimize the packing and shipping process. 
I'll go ahead and select packing, at which stage I'm prompted to select a weighing scale if using weighing scale integration. I'll go ahead and select that I am packing a sales order and that I am at the outbound staging bin pack station 01. At this point, I can then scan or enter the sales order or pick carton if I'm using pick cartons. And I can also configure the list view below to select the columns that I'll be viewing as well as sorting based on the information below. I'll go ahead and select the sales order that we've been working through the process with, sales order 894 and enter order. NetSuite automatically generates a carton ID and gives me the option to print a carton label. I can see the items to pack on the left hand side and the items packed on the right hand side. From here, I simply need to scan or enter the item and then confirm the quantity that we are packing. At the bottom, we can add additional cartons or we can simply add the remaining items into the same carton. Once again, as this is a serialized item, we are prompted to scan the serial number that we are packing. From here, I'll go ahead and confirm that we are packing this carton. I will then be prompted to enter the carton weight, but note that this can be captured automatically if using a weighing scale integration. I'll go ahead and enter a weight of 10 pounds. From here, I also need to confirm the carton size, in this case, 12 by 12 by 12, and confirm that I will be packing the carton. If using an integrated shipping solution, for which there are numerous options available for Australia and New Zealand, this information on the cartons can be passed across to determine the rates for shipping. From here, we simply need to complete the packing operation with the optional steps to send to staging, add to a pallet, or print a carton list. As of the latest NetSuite release, we can also mark the item fulfillments as shipped directly from this screen. That's all for this video. If you have any questions about NetSuite WMS, then please get in touch with us directly here at OneCloudX.